Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm back with an empties video. Uh, my empties basket is kind of getting overrun with stuff, so I thought it was time to film one of these. I don't have a set schedule to film this, um, the empties things, the scarves. First scarf I wore in months um, is annoying me. I haven't filmed, I don't film an empties video on any kind of schedule. Just when my basket gets full, I do one. Um, and you have to excuse me, I'm not feeling very good. So last night we went to like a little reunion thing with my husband. And um, it was a cookout. And I was making s'mores for the kids. And I accidentally ate one. And I can't have graham crackers because they have gluten. And I wasn't even thinking. I just stuck it in my mouth. And after I ate that one, and I think I ate another one, I was like, oh my gosh, I just ate graham crackers. And my stomach's a mess today. And my head is pounding. So... I'm not on top of my game, but I wanted to get through this because it's beautiful outside and I probably won't have any more opportunities to film outside like this and I really wanted to do it today. As I talk about this stuff, I'm going to throw them in this blue trash bag thingy. So the first thing I have is the Equate Beauty Oil-Free Ultra Gentle Face Moisturizer. Um, I just have the box. I took the bottle on vacation and I threw it out whenever I was done using it. I love this. Um, lotion for under my makeup. It's my favorite one and I've repurchased it I don't know how many times and I will continue to do so because I love it. Next I have the Tree Hut Shea Butter Body Butter in Almond and Honey. This is my favorite body butter. And they have other scents too. I just happened to grab this one. It's probably one of my favorite other than the Brazilian Nut. And I started a new one this morning so definitely will repurchase them again and again. Then I have a container of the Gillette Venus Sens Sensitive Sensible Disposable Razors. These are my favorite razors, but I will buy other ones depending on what coupon I have that week. So I'll repurchase them if I have a coupon. Then my favorite face wash, face wash is the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. I love this face wash. You can put it over your eyes. Um, it even says on the back that it's developed for the gentle eye area and um, I am not using a face wash unless I can put it over my eyes so I love this it takes all, off all my makeup and I can use it with my um, skin sonic clarisonic dupe thing then I have these cotton pads square things that I got from Walmart these were horrible they fell apart I, they were like stacked all up um, I can't even read the bag because it's all a mess it says 100% pure natural cotton and they're made in China, which, whatever. But, um, they were stacked up and when you went to pull one off, it tore the one below it. So, will not repurchase those ever again. These ones, on the other hand, I get at Big Lots. They're the Royal 100% Pure Cotton Lint-Free Premium Cleansing Pads. I have repurchased these again and again. And I don't know if you're familiar with Big Lots, but Big Lots gets in whatever Big Lots gets in and you have no control over that. And I don't think they do either. So the last time I was in there, I think I bought four of them, just so I have them. The next thing I have is the Degree, degree Clinical, I can't even talk today, my head hurts so bad. Degree Clinical Protection, 24-hour motion scent um, deodorant. I love this deodorant in the sheer powder scent. I bought the Summer Strength scent, and for some reason this isn't as good. I don't know. I mean, I'm using it almost all up. It's not quite empty yet, but it will be soon. But, um, yeah, I don't like it. Then I have the Herbal Essence Curl Boost Boosting Mousse. I like this mousse. Um, I re have repurchased it along with the, a Pantene one, but, um, this one is really, really good. Then I have my Equate Makeup Remover Cleansing Palettes, which is comparable to the Neutrogena ones in the blue package. Um, the Neutrogena ones are my favorite hands down but for some reason the last two packages I bought they have stung my eyes so I bought these ones and um, they're good I actually bought another package of these too because you get 40 and they're like a dollar less than the Neutrogena and the Neutrogena you only get like 26 so I'm gonna just make do with these for now then I have the Swiss Spurs 100% cotton swabs um, these are nice. Um, they're cotton swabs. I don't know. Whatever cotton swabs are 
inexpensive. That's what I buy. Oh, here's the bottle for that. Um, I thought I threw it away. I guess not. I guess I threw it in here for that moisturizer. Then I have the Equate Non-Acetone Nail Polish Remover. This is the one that I buy all the time. It's inexpensive. I can get it at Walmart. And I don't use regular acetone because it dries out my cuticles too much. So, will repurchase and have repurchased a lot. Then I have the Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo. I love this shampoo. There's nothing in it that can harm your color-treated hair. I get this from Vitacost. The conditioner is has still has some in, so it's in my um, shower, but I have repurchased this. Oh, here's the Degree Motion Sense to Sheer Powder. I hear a bunch of people on the trail. Sheer Powder Deodorant. This is the one I really like. I'm going to hold on to these people go past. They're gossiping. I have some more cotton realms. And as soon as they go past, I'll show them. Sorry about this. Um... Okay, so that's the problem with living next to the trail. You never know what's going to happen. I do not remember where I got these. They're cotton rounds, um, but I didn't like them. I don't think they were from Big Lots. They might have been from Walmart, but they were a no. Sorry about that little pause. Then I have the Yardley's London Oatmeal and Almond um, Soap. There's a hair. I bought this once from I don't remember where and then I bought it again at the Dollar Tree because this is amazing for cleaning your makeup brushes. I don't use this on my body although I have but now I just buy it for cleansing my brushes and it's awesome. The little bits of almond in there act, act as an exfoliator for your brushes and it just works great. Then I have the Rimmel Perfect Match Light Fair Highlighter and Concealer. Really love this concealer. Um, I've bought it again and again. I do like the Maybelline Pen one better in Radiant, but I like having them both on hand. Then I have the Superstay Maybelline Makeup. Um, I really like this foundation, but lately it's been oxidizing on me. I don't know why. I did buy a new bottle. I haven't opened it yet. Maybe the new one won't oxidize on me. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Whoops. Oh, well. These I got as a sample. They are the um, Alterna Bamboo Smooth Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh my gosh. I don't ever buy high-end shampoo and conditioner just because I'm not going to spend that much money for that. These were awesome. When they say you get what you pay for, when it comes to these, you get what you pay for. These were the best shampoo and conditioner that ever touched my hair. I don't know what it was about them, but I love them. I'm actually going to save these packets because I want to remember how much I like them. Because if I ever see them on Hotlook or anywhere like TJ Maxx, I'm picking those bad boys up if they're on sale. Then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it. And also I have the um, Wet n Wild Nutty Eyeshadow. As you can see, it broke and crumbled. And for 99 cents, I'm not going to try to fix it. I'll just pick up another one. Because I have to have that in my collection at all times. Then I have, again, like last time, a bunch of mascaras. I accumulate a lot of mascaras. and Because um, I love mascara. So if I don't like them or whatever, or they dry out because I don't like them and use them enough, I'm just tossing them. Um, I'm going to start with this Organic Wear by Physicians Formula. This is not empty, and, or if it is, I don't know what happened to it. It feels like there's nothing in here, and I don't like the brush, I don't like the formula, I don't like anything about this mascara. It's horrible, so it's got to go. Then I have the last Lash Blast Volume. With it. You can see this has been since the Olympics. No good. So, I'm tossing it doesn't even smell right. I'm not putting that on my eyes. Then I have the Jordana Best Slash Extreme. This is just empty. Um, I used the death out, the death. I used the death out of it. I used the heck out of it. And um, I have another one. So I will repurchase this one again and again. 
I also have the Be A Bombshell that I got in an Ipsy bag. It's dried up and old and no, oh what? This isn't a mascara. This is dried up and old. It's an eyeliner. So um, that's got to go. Then I have the Prestige, my longest lashes. I bought this because I love my blackest lashes and my, it's in a pink tube. My blackest lashes is in the black tube. The pink tube is my, I don't know what lashes, but it, it's good. This is horrible. I don't know if I got an old tube because I got it at Rite Aid. It's all dried up and it smells okay, but look at this. What, what is this? Why does it bend like that? I mean, you can't even put it on your lashes. You can't even barely get it back in the tube. It's horrible mascara. Absolutely horrible. Don't ever buy that. Then I have this Avon Brightening Concealer. It's full. I used it once. It dried out my under eyes like crazy. It looked awful. It wouldn't blend in. Disgusting. Then the last two things I have, I just bought. I bought this, um... Jordana Best, Best Lash Extreme and the Jordana Volume Extreme. Now remember, I love the um, Best Lash Extreme. This is the best length, I'm sorry. I love that mascara. I use it all the time. But these, do you ever get those little styes on your eye? Those little bumps? I had some serious eye issues after I used both of these products. Um, I don't know. My eyes did not like these. And I really, I liked how my lashes looked with both of these, but my eyes didn't like it at all. So I have to throw them out, which I'm kind of sad that they didn't work. But if they don't work, they don't work. I mean, don't hold on to something that it doesn't work for you. It's just taking up space. You might accidentally wear it again and have another breakout thingy. So just get rid of it. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.